Hey everybody, welcome to another Ankle Cast. Yes, it's been, again, another long time. The whole doing it once a week thing has kind of gone by the wayside, just like it does with our regular show. Um, but yeah, uh, it's been a little bit, and there's been a lot of things going uh, pop in my world. Um, we've been trying to get our house ready to sell recently, which has eaten into my writing time because pretty much any time I was at home I was supposed to be working on something whether it be painting a room or fixing a sink that we've redone or etc 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 um and I hardly got any time in to actually do uh you know writing it was it was hard to to find time and of course since I already don't try hard to find time to write, uh, it only got worse. And, uh, and yeah, um, now we've got our house, we put our house up on the market last week, finally, and we're just like, oh, yay, and I was able to relax a little bit. And I did get some writing done. I've got started on my triple word score contest story which I think will be fun. My words were uh, avalanche, agent, and... <clears throat> uh, what's the last one? Avalanche, agent, and doppelganger, which is probably the most significant word of the story. Uh, but yeah, I've got a, a story, and I tried to think about it. Uh, this is kind of what I did with the other contest, too, which served me well. Because, boy, did I kick butt on that last Broken Mirror story. Uh, but I tried to take the, the premise, the words that I had, and think of different ways that they could be used. Avalanche, uh, I think I'm actually going to have an actual avalanche. but And a doppelganger, I also have an actual doppelganger. But agent, I tried to think of a different word, or a different way a different meaning of the word agent. It's not just going to be an FBI agent or a CIA agent or something like, or a chemo agent. <laughs> it's going to be uh, something different. I, I, I found, I think, a way that I think it'll work well. But anyways, yeah, that's my uh, writing. Um, I, I'm trying to keep it up. Uh, on the forums, Marshall challenged me and Rish to write every day in May, um, and I was able to do pretty well to start off, but I, once again, have fallen off, so I need to get back on it. Um, yeah, it's been a little bit tough because, uh, our house was up for sale for like five days, and then somebody bought it, and so our house is now sold, and we've got to do all this stuff to get it ready, and I have 21 days. Apparently, now I guess things could still fall through, um, and then who knows what will happen, but I have 21 days to move out, and that's going to make May awful busy and awful difficult to write. Uh, so hopefully I don't blow it. Hopefully I can keep it going and write, you know, 15 or so minutes a day. And... Uh, yeah, so that's uh, kind of the writing thing and the big news, I guess. You know, we've, we've sold our house, we'll be moving. Um, we'll have to see what happens over the next few weeks and even few months. Um, we actually have another house that's being built for us, but it's not going to be ready in 21 days. So we're, uh, we're kind of in for it. We're, we're trying to figure out, are we... The, the play, people that bought our house um, are buying it to be a rental and so maybe they'll let us they said they'd let us rent from them but it'll be more expensive than it is to live there now and they also want us to be there for three months and we should only need it for two months so it's going to be a lot of money that may get uh, wasted if we stay and rent where we're at so we're looking to try and go somewhere else um, and save that money but yeah I don't know man it's going to be crazy. We'd have to move twice in a couple months if we do that. And uh, I don't know. We'll have to see. I, I wonder 
what will happen over the next few months. And if it turns out that we do move out, we'll probably move someplace much smaller for the short term, which means, I don't know, will Rish and I even be able to get together and record? We'll have to just use the Zoom and sit out on, in the parking lot or something like that of the apartments we're renting, or I don't know what. But uh, maybe we'll just do them all live on location at Wendy's. Not Wendy Cooper's. I mean, Wendy's the restaurant. <clears throat> anyways, yeah, uh, it'll be an interesting time. Um, I have been able to keep up my running, still training for my marathon. I went out with my uh, sister and my brother-in-law this last uh, this last Saturday, and I ran for. Um, 11 miles, 11 miles, can you believe it? That is, in my mind, a very, very long ways to go. It's, of course, the longest I've ever run, because every time I do a long run now, it's the longest I've ever run, um, going up a mile each week, usually. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I don't know, man, this last time I was so tired by the end of this run. I think there's a, there's a couple of possible reasons why I was so tired. One of them, I think, is because I forgot. I, well, not that I forgot to, but I didn't eat breakfast that morning. My alarm didn't go off. It was supposed to go off at 7.30, so I'd be ready by 8.30 when they got there. And instead, I got up at like 8.30, and they got there at 8.35, and I was not ready to go. And so I just kind of got dressed real fast and I got ready as fast as I could and we got out the door and I didn't have anything to eat. And I think it really uh, showed, especially by the end of the... Excuse me. <coughs> oh, jeez. <clears throat> Choking. But especially by the end of the run, where, uh, yeah, I was so gassed. I was so dead. Finally, and, and worse yet, my, my brother-in-law, he runs fast. Like, I run really slow. My sister will stick to my pace uh, when she's with me. Um, and then my brother-in-law, he just can't handle it. And so he usually winds up running ahead of me and then having to wait for me. And then I catch up and then he runs up ahead of me. And, you know, it's just one of those kind of things, which... That's kind of always frustrated me, to tell you the truth. I remember when I was a kid, I had the crappiest bike of all my friends. It, like, weighed 100 pounds or something. And all my friends had, like, these decent bikes that had the gears that actually worked. And so they'd get to the hill and they'd just switch up the gears. Mine, you know, I could just click those things up and down. It didn't change a thing. And so, uh, yeah, I was always struggling my way whenever we'd go bike riding and they do crap like we'd all go on a big bike ride with a bunch of friends and then we'd get someone and they're all waiting for me you know they realize they're so far ahead they can't even see me so they all pull over and have themselves a little rest and I'm riding my bike and I finally catch up and they're like oh good he caught up and they get on their bikes and take off again and I'm just like dude I just got here I can't just keep going come on man um <laughs> that's almost kind of what it feels like uh running with my brother-in-law because he's just fast like that and he's always ahead of me and so by the end of the, the run we got to the last mile and I'm just like okay guys this last mile don't like wait for me just go you guys know where you're going just go until you get to the end I'll, I'll be walking here and there because I'm gonna need to and man I was just so tired uh, we're gonna run 11 miles again this coming Saturday and uh, I'll have to make sure to eat breakfast beforehand so that uh, I don't run into that same issue this time around. But yeah, it's going along. My brother-in-law uh, was not down with doing the marathon with us originally. Now it's starting to look like he does want to do it. Um, the problem he has is that he doesn't want to do it in September because he'll have started school again and he'll be too busy to be doing, you know, five-hour runs on Saturdays when we're doing, you know, the really, really long practice runs, like the 20-mile ones and stuff. 
that you were doing right before you go on the uh, marathon. And so he's uh, trying to convince us to change our uh, time up to an earlier one. So it would be like a whole month earlier, probably August 15th instead of September 15th or whenever it was that we were going to do the one originally. So that kind of makes me a little worried. I was all excited about running, uh, I mean, about the training just because we had so much time that we were doing really well. You know, we've made it all, all the way to 11 miles. And what by the time we get to our half marathon that we're running on June 15th, we'll have run 13 miles, you know, and we're already to 11. Um, and we've got, you know, more than a month left. And so I was thinking, boy, we're going to be so awesome. And then we finish that and we'll have three whole months before we do our next run. And so we'll have tons of time to get all the way up to the training level that you need to be at for the marathon. But now we only have two months if we do that. And uh, it'll be a much more uh, cramped thing. It'll be much less uh, leisurely. I don't know what I'm trying to say about that. But... Yeah, it'll be, we'll have to push it a lot more to be ready in time if we're going to do it that much sooner. But I don't know, I haven't talked to my sister to know what she thinks about it. Um, so I guess we'll have to see. Maybe we'll do that, maybe we won't. But yeah, either way, by that time I should be in a new house, which will be cool. Um, it'll be nice to be out of our old house, which, you know, it's it's gotten to the age where there's always something that's a problem. And yeah, I'm tired of that. It'll be nice to move into a new house where everything is new and should work. Of course it won't. I'm sure there'll be all sorts of stuff that was installed wrong or something like that, just rushed through and now it sucks and we have to get them to fix it. Or, But at least then I can get somebody else to fix it because it's all warrantied, you know? Anyways, yeah, that's kind of what's going on in my life. Um, going a little crazy, trying to write still, and I'm going to get that uh, triple word score contest story done. And maybe I'll get started on this other story I was just talking with Rish about last night when he was over. Um, I was reminding him of a story I told him about before, an idea that I had, and he's like, yeah, you haven't written that one yet? Because that, that's pretty darn developed. You should have written it by now, and you suck. So maybe I'll get going on that one. Um, uh, but yeah, I, that's definitely something I need to get doing is getting writing, especially on a lot of the ideas that I have that are pretty well fully formed and only need a little bit of planning. Um, that seems to be my big downfall is the planning. Just to, to put in enough time to, you know, make the characters something interesting and make the plot something that, that uh, doesn't have the holes in it or whatever. But that seems like that's that last bit. It's like I climb the, the rope, but I just, I'm, I'm two hand, hand spans away from reaching the roof of the gym. Can't make it all the way. And I just finally give up and slide back down and nothing gets written. So I need to really work on that process, I think. Maybe that's something if I really worked on that, then I could... Uh, be much more prolific. Yeah, I'd like to do that. Anyways, uh, so that's the ankle cast for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it didn't suck. Uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'll let you know some more of what's going on uh, later. Thanks for listening, folks. Talk to you uh, next time.